tonight's 7.1 magnitude earthquake that happened, namely in a place called Ridgecrest, where there's a lot of reported damage, ruptured gas lines, gas leaks, fires. We're told they've been put out, damage to roads, rock slides. Put it in perspective for us, how bad, how big is it? You said we're long overdue? Long overdue. We're playing Russian roulette with Mother Nature. In 30 years time, 30 years, the probability of the big one is about 100%. So we will see the big one. It's inevitable. It's going to happen. It's the law of physics. Stock up on food, water in case of an emergency. Go have an escape route. Be prepared, basically, because it will happen. It will happen. It's the end of the world as we know it. And in good old YouTube fashion, today I'm going to be preparing for the end of the world. <laughs> or the big one. The big earthquake that's supposed to hit California, like any day now. In all honesty, the only reason why I'm joking about this so much is because I'm scared. I am terrified. And by doing this video, it not only helps prepare me for a situation that could be disastrous, but um, it also kind of just eases my mind a little bit, you know, because with all these earthquakes happening, it's just, it's, it's a little uh, intense. And a little comic relief never hurt nobody. So now let's talk about the game plan. In the event of an earthquake, it's good to be prepared. Ain't no earthquake gonna catch me slipping, okay? I'm talking canned foods, water, first aid kit, blankets, cash, money, all that. After gathering some supplies, I have constructed a emergency earthquake kit in case anything happens. And it probably weighs like 20 pounds. It's in this big bag that I don't know who's going to carry. I'm not carrying it if something happens. So we'll see how that goes. But this is it. This is my earthquake emergency kit. So in the first compartment, we got nothing. <laughs> no, just kidding. There's this little zipper in here that inside holds an emergency blanket, a survival card tool. Basically, it's a bunch of things rolled into one. It has a knife edge. It's a can opener. It has a butterfly wrench, a saw blade, a hex wrench, a ruler, a bottle opener, a flathead screwdriver. This is gonna come handy. Got some of these. Three batteries that I found in my drawer that I'm not sure work anymore, but I'm gonna take that risk. <laughs> Now we're moving on to the second little layer here. And on the top, I have three bandanas because you never know like if there's going to be like debris in the air or like dust and like it's going to be hard to breathe, like it's going to be like a Coachella situation. <laughs> you want to be prepared for whatever. Next, we got some bug spray. Next, we have a basic first aid kit with 140 items inside of it with band-aids, neosporin, Tylenol, Bengay, gauze pads and all that. All the information's right here. What is this like medical tape? I just threw that in there. Just you never know. There's also these little compartments and a zipper right here. So let's start off with the zipper. In here I just have two bars of soap. That's that. And what's in here are a couple of loose band-aids and ba bam a $20 bill. All right, listen, obviously you want to have more cash with you than a $20 bill, but I was not about to pull out, you know, a $100 bill for the sake of this video. Um, <laughs> so as the days go on, I will progressively continue to put more cash in here. But right now, right now we rolling with a 20. So <laughs> dinner's on me. For the last layer, this layer is stocked up with goodies, a bunch of goodies. We'll get into what's on the top first. This was real cool. Okay, listen, this is an instant fire starter. This right here was one dollar. A dollar? And it starts up to four fires. You know what my favorite part about this is? It's eco-friendly. You can start a campfire. You can use it for your fireplace. You can use it for cooking. You can use it for charcoal. And you can use it in an emergency, which... You know, hopefully we don't have to do, but I mean, if worse comes to worse, I'm prepared. So we got two of these. Next, we got two emergency ponchos. This right here is an explorer's tool. Basically, this is a bunch of things rolled into one, just like that other little survivor card. It's a magnifying glass, it's a compass, it's a monocular signal mirror, and it's also adjustable binoculars, which is super cool. Next, we got two flashlights, count them, 
two. Put your hands up. Ooh, put your hands up. Ooh, put your hands up. Ooh. Party's over, okay? This is an emergency. I had like a pack of five. I lost the other three. Don't know where they're at, but I'll make it my mission to find them. We're gonna need a lot more than two flashlights. We got some chicken fried rice freeze-dried chicken fried rice. This stuff expires in 2049. So we're covered. A good old-fashioned lasagna. One freeze-dried ice cream sandwich. I don't know why I just got one, but um, one for now. I'll get more later. <laughs> I think that this is really cool though, because like in case of an emergency, if something ever were to happen, we would be so unhappy with the food that we're eating. This would be like a nice little treat, just like to cheer you up a little bit. We got some chicken of the sea tuna. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got two. We got two chicken of the sea tunas. We also got some utensils. These are some nice reusable utensils. They are a fork, a spoon, and a knife rolled into one. And then because we also have dogs, we also have canned dog food. This expires next year, so I have to get more dog food. After filming this portion of the video, we also decided to go on Amazon and buy a survival handbook because I think that that would be really handy to have. I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't have the first clue about what to do in the wilderness or like how to survive on nothing pretty much. So I think that the handbook would be really useful. We also got an emergency hand crank self-powered radio. Radios are really essential in an emergency because you need to be able to have some sort of contact with the outside world. So like if people are broadcasting over the radio, like news updates or like where there's shelter or where you can get help if someone is injured, whatever. It's really useful to be in the know and in the loop of what's going on. So this radio is really cool because it doesn't require batteries. All you have to do to basically like recharge it is to just crank it. That's why it's called a crank radio. It's equipped with a flashlight. You can charge your phone with it. It's very compact so it can fit easily into a backpack or you can carry it with you wherever you go. And apparently we weren't the only ones that thought about getting this because currently these are unavailable on Amazon right now. So I think a lot of people got freaked out after the earthquake and they just started preparing like me. So I would definitely try to find one of these. I think out of everything, this is probably one of the most important and helpful resources to have in the case of an emergency. And that is my earthquake emergency kit. In the event that the earthquake is so massive that it knocks down my house or everything is chaotic in the streets like some this is the end type I'm gonna need something that I can run in. I need to have free range to be able to jump over cars. I need to have shoes that I can run underground in. I need to have an outfit that says, don't mess with me and man, keep walking. And I haven't figured out the outfit portion of that yet. That will come later, but y'all ain't gonna catch me slipping. I told you, you ain't gonna catch me slipping. So I bought non-slip shoes. I got these steel toe shoes, the kind that like construction workers wear. Kind of like an edgy Doc Martin moment. Look at the grip on there. They ain't messing around. I'm gonna keep these next to the backpack. So just in case anything, anything goes down, just throw these babies on and boom. I'm the one in charge. <laughs> the last thing that I have to do to prepare for a natural disaster is to have an escape route. My family and I haven't really talked about what we're gonna do if that ever happens. Like, I'm always scared, like what if I'm at school, I'm just alone and like I'm in a situation where I don't have cell service or like the earth split and my car fell in and what am I gonna do? <laughs> I don't know. So I haven't figured that part out yet, but I need to, and I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to. With all that being said, um, regardless of what you think is gonna happen, if you live in California or whatever, whatever you've heard, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Just to be prepared for anything that can happen. You never know. Well, that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for new videos every single week. If you haven't seen the video that I posted on Monday, the link will be down below in my description box. Make sure to turn on the notification bell. Make sure to make an emergency kit. Make sure to leave a comment down below. <laughs> As always, I love you guys very much, and I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.